If you've ever wanted to run multiple WhatsApp bot sessions on the same server without setting up separate bots for each, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to configure multiple WhatsApp sessions inside one bot instance running on a single server. That means you can manage different sessions either with the same WhatsApp number or even different numbers, all under the same bot framework. Stick around until the end, because I'll be dropping three pro tips that will make your setup even smoother. One of them will save you from a common mistake that most people make when trying to set up multi-sessions. So, don't miss it! Before we configure multiple sessions, let's quickly set up the bot itself. I've covered detailed bot deployment in previous hosting platforms, so if you need an in-depth tutorial on how to create a WhatsApp bot from scratch, check the links in the description. But for this video, I will fast-track the bot creation process so we can focus on getting multiple sessions running on the same server. Head over to the GitHub page that hosts the bot. I have included its link in the description box. While on the page, look for the quick installation link and copy it. Once you have that, the next step is to log into your server. I'll be using command prompt CMD, which is native to Windows users. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can use Terminal. When prompted, enter your server's IP address, then your password, and you should now have access to the server. Now, paste the installation link from GitHub into the command line and hit enter. The bot will begin installing. You will be asked to assign a name to your bot, type any name you prefer and press enter. I'm naming mine, test. Next, you will be asked whether you have a session ID. Since this is a new setup, type then for no and press enter. At this point, the installation process will begin. All required dependencies will be downloaded and installed. Depending on your server speed, this could take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a QR code appear on the screen. Now, here's a crucial step, do not scan this QR code just yet. This is because it will link the bot to the default config environment, which does not support multi-session functionality. Instead, skip this step by pressing Ctrl plus C to stop the scanning process. Now, we need to configure our bot to support multiple sessions. First, now, navigate into your bot's directory by typing cd followed by the bot's name. Since we are setting up multiple sessions inside the same bot, we will modify the existing configuration file. In my case, it is cd test. Hit enter and you will be inside the bot's folder. Inside the bot folder, there is a file named config.json.example. This is the example configuration file that needs to be modified to support multiple sessions. To do this, we need to rename the config file so that it becomes active. The easiest way to do this is by using the mv command followed by the file name. So, type mv config.json.example then leave space and type config.json. This will rename the file from config.json.example to config.json, making it our active configuration file. Once that's done, hit enter and now we can edit the config.json file to define the multiple session IDs. To open it, use the nano editor by typing nano config.json. By default, you will see three session slots inside the config file. You can remove the extra ones if you don't need them or you can add even more sessions. Each session operates independently meaning you can either use the same WhatsApp number across all sessions or use completely different numbers for each session. For this tutorial, I'll use same WhatsApp number. To generate session IDs, we need to scan QR codes, this is what links the bot to WhatsApp accounts. A link to the QR code generator is in the description box. Open the link, on the main page, click on scan. QR code will be generated. Now, open your WhatsApp app, navigate to Link Devices, and scan the first QR code. Once it's linked, copy the generated session ID and paste it into the first session slot inside the config.json file. Repeat this process for the second and third session IDs. Once all session IDs are added, we can modify additional settings. One key configuration is prefixes, this allows us to differentiate between bots. In this case, we'll assign a unique prefix to each session. To do this, edit prefixes under each bot session and replace the prefix with your own prefix. 
In my case I will edit it as follows. First session, dot. Second session, comma and the third session, exclamation point. This means that each bot will respond to different command triggers. For example, the first bot will recognize, dot, a ping, the second bot will recognize, comma, ping, and the third bot will recognize exclamation point ping. This ensures that each bot operates independently, even though they are running on the same server. Once all changes are made, save the configuration by pressing Ctrl plus O, then enter to confirm. Exit the editor by pressing Ctrl plus X. To start running all sessions, simply type npm start. This will install any remaining required plugins and initiate all configured bot sessions. This process can take several minutes depending on how fast your machine is as well as the server type. Be patient as the external plugins and three session connection processes are configured. Once the last text of the third session states external plugins installed, it means the bot is running. We can test it by sending commands to the bot through WhatsApp. Try typing dot ping in the first session, comma, ping in the second, and exclamation point ping in the third. If everything is set up correctly, all three sessions should respond independently with Pong results of each session. Before we wrap up, let's go over the two pro tips I mentioned at the start of the video. Pro tip number one, avoid using config.env. Many people think they need to configure config.env when setting up multiple sessions, but this is not necessary. The config.json file is all you need to define and manage your sessions. If you use config.env, you may run into compatibility issues, so just ignore it when working with multi-session setups. Pro tip number two, sessions remain independent. One of the biggest benefits of multi-session WhatsApp bots is that each session remains completely independent. This means you can configure each one differently, use different command sets, apply different automation, etc. For example, session one can be configured for customer support with quick replies. Session two can be used for automated marketing messages. Session 3 can be a fun chatbot with AI-based responses. Because all sessions function separately, you can fine-tune them to serve different purposes. Pro tip 3, you are not limited to using just one WhatsApp number across all sessions. While this video shows how to configure multiple sessions under a single number, you can assign a completely different WhatsApp number to each session. And that's it! You've now successfully set up multiple WhatsApp bot sessions on a single server. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss another tutorial like this. And hey, if you're interested in learning more about WhatsApp bot automation, make sure to watch the next two videos. On the left side of the screen, I have a detailed guide on how to create a WhatsApp bot from scratch. On the right side of the screen, a video on the best features of WhatsApp bots and how to make the most of them. If this video amazed you, you'll definitely love the next ones. I'll see you there.